Lovely. And who are you? I'm Mary Lou, and I'm a sport worker at Zim Beats. And I'm Monica Ord, and I'm a teaching assistant at Zim Beats. Why did you want to have Opal in your school in the first place? It started, we'd heard from some other schools who were involved in Opal, how effective it had been in their school. And play for us was a bit of an issue. Um, we're very limited, we have very limited space. And the children didn't really have anything to do out there. They played football, football caused a lot of arguments. They were bored, they were really, really bored. And play is, it to us, we, we feel it should be a huge part of the curriculum and is very, very important. And we wanted to, to improve it um, and to, to make lunch times and play times a much happier place for children to be. It was bad. It was hard working with the children and getting them to interact with each other. The behaviour that was hard to con like, hard to control, would you agree? Mm -hmm. it was, it and the behaviour has a really, at play times, the mm -hmm. behaviour is really seeing improvement in behaviour. Because mm -hmm. they've got something to do, they're always busy and they've got it. And plus relationships within the children, I think, with each other. Mm -hmm. Intermingling more with each other, play, the older ones play the little ones less. So. It's made play become an integral part of our school, you know, it forms part of our school improvement plan. Um, it's it's very much embedded now amongst staff and it has become something that we value hugely as opposed to something that the children just go and they go out to play, you know. Um, so it's been that whole school approach really. Um, I think it's made a massive difference to, to everybody in the community, um, but especially most of the children. How do you think your practice has changed? As a result of, of Opal, what are you doing differently now? <laughs> I'm going to say, like, I was really, really, oh, that's going to happen. Oh, it's put on the black side, it's, it's just safe. But I've had a total turn around now and I'm just, oh, let them try themselves or ask the children, oh, what, what could happen? Are you sure you feel safe doing that? I've totally changed <laughs> from my experience with me. And Mary, what would you say is better about your job? No more karma. And they play better, and you can play with them as well. Play yeah. times are a much happier, calmer place. Well, it's had a, a huge impact on behaviour at play times. Um, I very rarely have to deal with behavioural incidents because the children are enjoying themselves so much, they're so engaged. Um, if that's had a positive impact on lessons, so obviously their, their learning time isn't being eaten into as much as it previously was. Um, and children themselves are, are happier. I think it promotes self-esteem, it promotes creativity, imagination, all of these things they do outside are, are things that they didn't have the opportunity to do before and in today's society often don't, you know, they don't go out and play, I, I think, as much as they used to, so it's, it's affected a lot of things. So Marion, what would you say to other school meal supervisors who are in schools that are thinking about doing Opal and improving the play? Go for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, we we were very well. Personally, I was at the start. I was like, oh, it's, it's a long shot. This, it's you know, we haven't got space. We haven't got this, that, and the other. But no, if you, if you have to, you you'll get there. Mm -hmm. It's been a journey. It hasn't has it for been. Us. It's been a very really successful, journey. successful journey. Very successful yes. journey. Yeah. Good. And it's and we're still carrying on with it. Yes. We're still kind of still have fun enough there. And how, yeah, I was going to say. And how do you feel about being a platinum school? <laughs> oh, you tell we're just still all like. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.